guys. Come and join me. We are making gesso today. I've got my scale out here. And I've got the recipe here. And I will put that down in the description. But I'll go through it here. So I'm going to tear out my scale to zero grams. And the first thing we're going to add is paint. You can use any paint you want. This as long as it's like matte or something. Unless you want a satin or something. But I think matte is probably best. So I'm going to put in 100 grams of paint. Give or take. There we go. All right. Oh, it went to 101. That's okay. So now we're going to add in 14 grams of glue, PVA glue. And I just decanted some into a cup and I just teared it out to get it back to zero. I don't know if you heard that or not. My husband's yelling at Sissy. Okay, so there's the glue. Now we're going to tear that out. And the third ingredient we're going to need is calcium carbonate. Carbonate. I got this from off of Amazon. It was fairly inexpensive. Now we need 20 grams of calcium carbonate. This is just powdered chalk. Oh, we two grams extra. That's all right. So we don't need this anymore. So now we're just going to mix this together until we get the consistency that we want. We're going to add distilled water if it's not thin enough. So you're just going to mix until everything is incorporated. You want to keep this in a container that is sealable to keep it airtight. It looks like it. I don't need to add any water. So if you have a, this is a Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, so it's probably very, not very, it's probably low viscosity. It's not like a pouring medium paint, but you saw how it globbed out. So this looks like it's all incorporated now. Easy peasy, right? I think I have a record here somewhere. I'm going to show you how I apply it. This is um, a, just a 12 inch record. It is grunt. <laughs> Whatever. Let me get some spray paint caps. We're going to just put some on, just to, a little bit to start with. And you're going to take a spatula. And you're just going to spread it out. All over the, you, this works for canvas. I'm just using it on a record because I want to prep this record for another project. You want to apply very thin coats. 
So this might take two to three coats. But what you'll do is spread it out evenly and then scrape off excess back into your container. Sorry, I wasn't in the screen all the way, was I? So it's just like that. And like I said, I'll let this dry and then I'll put on another coat, at least one more. That very thin coat. And then you just clean off your tool. Now, if you want to, you can sand lightly between coats. It depends on how rough this coat is. But that's it. Make your own gesso, guys. You can double this recipe or, you know, cut it in half. So, 100 grams of paint, 14 grams of PVA glue, 20 grams of calcium carbonate and then distilled water to get the consistency you want. You can apply this with a brush if you like. But I prefer to use a spatula. And then, because that way then you don't have any ridges from your brush stroking. So that was easy, right? Very quick video for you. I hope you guys try this recipe. Let me know how it works. You can use any color paint. Just use, make sure that it's a matte finish because I don't think you really want gloss or even semi-gloss on your canvas. You'll want to have that matte so that you can paint over it easily. And I got black paint everywhere. I should have been wearing gloves. So I'll just put the lid on this, wait till that dries, and I'll add another coat. Alright, thank you guys for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I do all things kind of like DIY. Love to do crafting. Right now I'm on the resin, acrylic pours, and jewelry kick. And I've got a sewing video that I'll be doing that will include a, a pattern that you can download from my Etsy shop. But I also have a Facebook account. That's where I sell my jewelry and my art. So go to my link there. Look, check out what I've got. And uh, buy something. Feed the starving artist. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.